Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Train Crash TV. Let me just turn off my radio real quick and we can get started talking. As you can see, this is one of my settlement builds. I'm proud of it. I just been through a battle. Killed all these folks. So let's talk about social media in this time of crisis. I personally think that with social distancing and <clears throat> with uh, quarantine, social media has opened up new avenues to communicate with one another. Just the other night I was um, on a video chat with my nieces and my sister who live only an hour away from me but we don't want to go there because my nieces are newborns and they're you know we just don't want to get them sick if we are sick ourselves limited human interaction is what people need let me get out my wipe them all off the face of the earth gun real quick that gun's nice but it's loud it's very it's very loud this one one shot one hit kind of kill thing and um it was nice to see him i usually get to see him once every other week but with what's going on right now it's just not able we're just not able to go as much Sorry if I sound a little groggy. I literally just woke up. And I want to get this done before everyone in the house wakes up. So, yeah, that's the reason why I sound groggy today. I'm not sick or anything. This is just how I sound in the morning. And, um... Ooh, I heard something. I heard someone say, hmm. And, um, it was just nice seeing them. And the other day, I was looking through the Facebook feed like I do every morning. And... See what I mean by one shot, one hit? One kill? And, um... The other day, my sister posted a video done by Russell Brand. That actor guy, who I saw in a couple of movies, but I thought, like, disappeared off the face of the earth after 2011. Because I hadn't seen him in any other movies after 2011. I'm sure he did more movies. But if he did, I just didn't see him. Okay, I know there's another one here. I, I know for a fact there's another guy here. Hello? I see the red dot. Now we go. So you grow a big while. Now, now, it's okay. I don't want to kill him. I'm just gonna leave him there. I'm not a monster. And he's talking about how all this, these social media groups have come out in support of um, each other, social distancing, you know, stay-at-home orders. Social media is really taking the wing when it comes to communicating with each other and being able to go with one another. I can't remember everything that was said, but it was interesting to see someone talk about social media so way because for years we said how social media has united us but driven us farther apart in this kind of a disaster it's actually kept us connected great i spared the bear people let's not get too dramatic here 
And, um... Yeah, it's just... Social media has been great right now. It's literally the only way I'm able to communicate with people, and I'm sure it's the same for you guys. Unless you're essential workers and you get to work at home and you get to work at work. But you can't really communicate that much with your customers. Which in its own is pretty sad. We're in Lexington, alright. There's always something to kill in Lexington. I was here last video, I'm just on the other side of town now. Oh, hello there. It's a behemoth. Speaking of social media, I had um, posted this to a group full of Fallout fans. And a guy on the social media platform asked me what gun mod this is. And I'm going to open up my mod list and actually show you what gun mod it is. As soon as it loads. Come on, load. Load, 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 load. This episode of Train Crash TV is brought to you by Wash Your God Dang Hands. You want to fight the virus? Wash your god dang hands. Not that one. Nope. 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 It's way down there, but I don't want to, like, pass it. Because I want to get on with the rest of the video. Aha! There it is. There it is. That's the gun mod. I'm terrible at names, so I'm going to skip the first. Weapon Pack Redux. Scadrad, Scadrad Weapon Pack Redux. It adds all of this beautiful stuff to the game. So Daniel, so David, I hope this helps you. It's available on both Xbox and PC, but it's working better on my PC than anything else. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's wicked. That's all my other mods, in case you guys are wondering what other mods I have on this game. A lot. That's all I'm going to say, is a lot. I downloaded this mod, and I can't find it anywhere in the whole thing. And let me see where it's at in my... So, yeah, yeah, it's there. I'll just check that out later when I'm not doing a video for you guys. But yeah, Facebook groups, YouTube have given us an outlet to be able to stay in touch with one another without actually having to be around each other. So I have to laugh when I hear these people complaining about being stuck at home. I know I mentioned that in the last three videos. The update video and the two just talking videos I did the other day. And, um... I can't aim today. I don't know why. And, um... You gotta reload sometime, asshole! There is, um... Yeah, I can't really concentrate on the so I'm gonna kill these guys and get right back to the show, huh? I honestly, I hardly ever go this way, so this... I honestly forget these guys are here. Because I never, almost never use this road. I'm gonna loot his chems cabinet here. Get it, buff out. I could make some pretty decent chems with those at the chemistry station. <laughs> I have a high science score, so I can make a lot of weird stuff, man. <laughs> oh, 
also, um, it's nice to get a hold of people who have the same interests as you. If you're like me, you don't like being around people normally, so Facebook's really helped me come out of my shell a little bit. Not enough to get weirded out because there's a bunch of people around me, but just enough to be considered social, if that makes sense. We may talk a big game about Facebook, and yeah, Facebook does some really shady stuff with our data. But ultimately, we allow them to do that, and we honestly never punish them. Ugh, scabbers are always freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there. We got a Mr. Handy. He's always good for scrapping. A little update, I'm actually doing research for the Institute for the Real History video. And, um... Right now I'm really excited. I'm not going to tell you what faction in history I'm going to compare the Institute to. I actually had somebody ask me when I first started doing those... Fallout Real History episodes. Are you going to compare them to the South during the post the pre Civil War? Sorry. Or are you going to. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you have a 38. Ah, oh, everyone knows I do that rant. That's a regular thing. Okay, I already looted you. I have not looted you, but all you have is, like, garbage. That's just that's disappointing. Yeah, that's very disappointing. And, um... Yeah, I'm just... Where was I? Oh yeah, data mining. Facebook and Google selling our data. Who knew? Almost everybody for a very long time now. You didn't know or care until you started realizing how much damage that's actually doing to you. And it's wrong. We all know that. But it's, but we allow them to get away with it. We don't punish them. If we got together and formed a lawsuit against them, which I think is what's what was going on there, like they... Zuckerberg was in a House committee hearing, but that's not the same as being charged or being charged with anything. And honestly, after what's been going on today with them keeping us in touch, I doubt anyone's going to actually go against them now because they're literally the only sort of side cell phone. And even that, how much data do you think your cell phone company is selling on you? Every company that deals with and people sell data, like your data to see what exactly you like. People have been doing that for years. People in the advertising business, that's their whole job. You ever seen Mad Men? Their job is to find out what you guys like so they can put it on an advertisement and sell it to you. Facebook just does that a little more advanced than any other company. And, um, we're just now dealing, we're just, for a lot of us, we're just now talking about it. We're just now trying to do, for some of us, trying to do something about it. But for now, we got bigger fish to fry, people. After all this is said and done, then we can go after Zuckerberg and his cronies, Google and stuff. Anyone listening to this ever had a MySpace page? I thought it was like the thing to have and then it's just... There you are, you bastard. 
Then again, that MySpace is actually a thing. You get Facebook, which, in my personal opinion, was way easier and way simpler to set up. I have not been on my MySpace page in years. I doubt it even still exists because it's an inactive account. And, um, I've not even used my Twitter account in like four years. I had a Twitter account because I wanted to stay up to date with what my, what people were getting up to, what my favorite actor or something was getting up to. But then I realized I didn't have any favorite actors out there, so. And all my favorite, favorite actors are all dead, so. Because they're all from the 30s and the 40s. Like Clark, Clark Gable and stuff like that. People like that. I just, I promised I'd give a shout out to my little baby nieces. And I promised I'd give a shout out to my sister. So here's a shout out to them. These guys have been fans of the channel since I started. For whatever reason, my niece, my two nieces love hearing my voice. So... I guess that's really the reason I started doing these kinds of things, not only to keep my mind occupied, not only to give you guys something daily, which I promised you guys I would do when I first started this channel, but never sort of came to pass. And, um, yeah, this is also giving me a reason to play video games at least every day, especially this video game. I love Fallout games. If I get Fallout New Vegas and Fallout Three, I'm gonna be doing just talking on those. I'm gonna do a just talking episode on Fallout 1 maybe a little later if I get bored with this game, which right now it's not looking like I'm getting bored at all with this game. And you know, we're just talking, just always talking, just always listening. Oh, also, this episode of Just Talking is brought to you by Just Wash Your Damn Hands. Because for whatever reason, you guys need actors and freaking doctors and freaking nurses and the government to tell you to wash your dang hands. You should have been doing that all along, buddy. You should have been doing that all along. I'm just saying. You've been told this since kindergarten, at least, by your teachers. Oh, oh, you want to fight? Let's see, what was on the agenda for today? Um, letting that David guy know what weapons mod this is. Letting him, um, giving a shout out to my nieces, talking a little about social media. You know, just the bare bones of it. Um, I think we're almost out of everything's to say. Oh yeah, PSA, wash your damn hands, already did that. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. I think we're golden. I think we're good. And um Hope to see you guys and then hope to hear from you guys and again if you guys got any suggestions on what you want me to talk about, please Please, I'm going to be posting these to Facebook, to the Facebook page, Train Crash TV, so go ahead and go like that. It's called Train Crash TV Gaming History and Other, and you can leave me a comment on the post. For whatever reason, YouTube isn't showing me all the comments I get on these videos. I probably am not getting any comments on these videos, but still, it helps the channel grow, and it helps me stop rambling on about nonsense on the thing. Mr. David, I hope you actually, I hope that was very informative. I just can't type out what I see in these games because, you know, it's easier for me to show you that way you can see where it's at. And I hope you were able to see it. If you didn't, here it is again. As soon as it loads, load, 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 load. Loading screens make me sick. Okay, that's the cheat terminal for those of you guys who didn't know what it was. What I was talking about. Uh, da, da, da. It was way down here. I already forgot where it was. Ah, there it is. Skid Ray 
weapons pack. You get all these shiny guns that are in the description. It is on Xbox and it is on PC, so you can mod on either one. I personally found that they work better on PC. They worked fine on my Xbox, but not fine enough to keep it. And oh, here is the Commonwealth. Here's the Metro Exodus uniform skins I was talking about earlier. Here's that toilet paper mod. It's called Apocalypse Supplies. There's a whole little dungeon that comes with it where you have to go and get this Department of Defense magazine that's locked in the bowels of the dungeon. You get to fight ghouls and stuff. It's really easy, especially when you're at a high level like I am, to get through. And it looks like it's also available on Xbox One and PC and PS4. So, yeah. And again, guys, if you have any, any suggestions on what to talk about next, please, please let me know. I'm going to be posting this to the Fallout 4 f fans Facebook group. I'm also going to be posting this to my personal Facebook page and my and the official Facebook page of the <coughs> Train Crash TV website. And as always, like, share, subscribe, click that bell notification to get a daily update on this channel, and I will see you in the next talking point where we're probably going to talk about more, more. I'm glad I didn't have to mention Corona in this video, even though I just mentioned it. And uh, we hope to see you again. And once more, I'm just talking. This is my personal opinion. That's the way it goes.